Olive, when you're ready. Carol Lalotte is Brattleboro's Recreation and Parks Director. Really, the 4th of July is one of her busiest days of the year. Carol, how important are these events, of the parades, the family afternoon at the park, and the fireworks to this community? Well, this, you know, 4th of July is a real community event for, for all parties involved, and I think the most important thing on the day is we really try to make this event, event affordable for the citizens of Brattleboro. And at events like today, raising money, you know, we need everybody's support so we can continue, continue to make this event free of charge. Um, so it's so important, whether it's a dollar, whether it's a quarter, um, whether it's a, you know, a, com a company donation, anything will help us in keeping this event affordable. And again, how many thousands of people show up to these things? I think if you start adding the parade together along with the activities at Living Memorial Park and then all the people on the, exteri uh, the exterior part as the fireworks hit, you're probably reaching close to 15,000 people as the day goes, goes on. And in fact, a bit of history here, uh, keep that thing rolling because with me is Larry Smith, Ex of uh, I was wondering ex who that was Vermont behind Yankee, me. And uh, ex of WTSA, in fact, my predecessor, he helped do the first radiothon with J. Wayne Corby. We'll talk about that, Larry. It was the first, uh, 1972, first year we were going to do the 4th of July parade. And Wayne says, it's not going to cost anybody a cent. We're going to raise the money. And Smith, you and the radio station are going to raise $1,000. And I said, what? And we raised fourteen hundred dollars that first year, and the rest is history. Forty years later, it's still a wonderful Fourth of July. Here we are, forty that, years later. It costs absolutely nothing for the residents, but costs money to put on. And now it costs roughly ten times that amount to put on. So we need your support. What's the address for Brattle World Goes Forth? Um, you can send donations to Brattle World Goes Forth or on on the web. Um, I'm going to need to go Kevin on that one for you. <laughs> I believe it's uh, box 1112 in Brattleboro, 05302. Thank you, I, I just put money in the bucket, by the way, even though I'm on a fixed end. Your music, your station.